Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna briefly review what R0 is, how is that calculated, and how much vaccine coverage is needed in a population, for example, afflicted with COVID-19 pandemic. I'd be so glad if you pose any question that comes to your mind regarding this uh, tutorial, and please, please don't forget to subscribe us. Let's go! Okay, now let's see what R0 is exactly is. Suppose that we have this population of 36 people who haven't been vaccinated and thus are uh, susceptible to say, for example, COVID-19 virus, right? So, in this population, assume that this guy is the very first person who contracts the coronavirus disease, right? And again, presume that this uh, very first person can contract, uh, can pass the disease to four other people and will uh, infect those people as well, like this. Here, in this condition, we say that R0 is 4. You know, R0 is act uh, it actually stands for basic reproduction rate which means the number of people who may be infected when an index case enters a population like this. You know, the next question now arises. How is this R0 uh, calculated? Well, uh, R0 is a result of multiplication of three elements. The first being beta, the second being C and the last one D. So what do these stand for beta C D? Well a uh, beta is an indicator of the virus or uh, infective organism uh, in virulence or infectivity you know and C which stands for contact is also an indicator of R0 and D your duration. You know, if the virus is more virulent, uh, it will be more likely to afflict more people. So the R0 will be more. If the people of our community is, are more in contact with each other, so again, the basic reproductive rate will be more. And if the duration of the disease is more, again, the people who are afflicted by a single index case will also increase. For example, a hypothetical virus uh, which infects people for 10 days is much more likely to uh, infect more people than another virus which uh, infects people only for 3 days, right? Now let's see how much of our uh, population must be actually vaccinated to reach uh, the public immunity. Well, uh, the fact is that if you want your uh, population to be immunized, your R0, which is 4 in the first place, must become 1 after vaccination, right? So in this case, the vaccine coverage needed is 1 minus 1 divided by R0, which will be 75%. Right? So, uh, you see the next picture, I mean the picture on the right, whose uh, people are vaccinated and every three out of four people is immunized by vaccination. And so let's see what does it mean that the R0 now in this vaccinated population is one. You know, uh, again, uh, consider this very first guy to be the first person who contracts the disease. So clearly this very first person can contract and can pass the disease to this person who is not vaccinated. This unvaccinated person can uh, pass the disease to another unvaccinated people and see what happens next. There is no one who can contract the disease from these unvaccinated people. And here we have this very important explanation of herd immunity. You know what it means really? You can see these unvaccinated people is clearly protected from the coronavirus by the other five people who are vaccinated. So when our vaccination rate reaches 75% and our R0 reaches 1, this is what happens. Herd immunity helps to interrupt the transmission of the virus uh, evidently, right? Now, uh, you may ask yourself, what if the vaccine effectiveness is not 100%? 
What if the vaccines don't work perfectly? I mean, not all, uh, not all of these 75% are actually uh, in, uh, suscept insusceptible to coronavirus. You know, uh, for example, if the vaccine effectiveness is say 90% or 80%, then clearly you will have to increase your vaccine coverage. So here, the vaccine coverage needed will be vaccine coverage in case of 100% effectiveness divided by your new effectiveness, which will be, for example, 75 divided by, in a case of a vaccine whose uh, effectiveness is 90%, you will have something like this, which means 83%. You see, the rate increased. Now you need to uh, vaccinate 83% of your population in order to uh, reach uh, public immunization and public uh, health. You know, uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about vaccine effectiveness, efficacy, and cost effectiveness much more precisely. So follow us to see how now is vaccine effectiveness calculated. Please, please don't forget to subscribe us for more videos on medical basic science. Thank you.